In this video, I'm going to share some of the things that we're working on at CartFlows. But first, let's take a look at some of the things that we have recently released. When you're on our website, if you go to where it says Help Center and scroll down to where it says What's New, it's going to take you to this page. So you can always see what we've done and what we're doing. So this is the part that I'm going to show you in this video. But let's first take a look at some of the things that we've done. So we very recently released multiple order bumps, including what we call offer grids. So you can have a grid of order bumps. And we've also added new additional styles to our order bumps. Right before that, we released a revamped Facebook Pixel along with support for Google Analytics version 4. And if you want to see all the other exciting features that we've released this year, you can come and visit that page. But I suspect that that's not what you're here for. Let me just read here of what we're developing right now, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek in this video. So it says right here, as CartFlows is growing, we're now developing more awesome industry leading features, which include dynamic order bumps and upsells based on rules aka rules engine i'm going to show you that in this video and also we're adding google address autocomplete and new modern checkout styles i will tell you though that this is not the complete list we always like to keep secrets and surprise our customers with things that were not they were not expecting so this is just what we're revealing that we're working on but we're really working on so much more now what i'm excited to reveal though is an early sneak peek at our rules engine so you can understand how it's going to work and what it's going to bring to your business now let me just let you know that this is still under development so some things might change when we have the final version here I am inside of a typical flow that has a checkout page. It has multiple upsells, a downsell, and a thank you page already pre-set up. Let's take a look at those rules. Here's my checkout page, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit option. And inside of this step, we have a tab right here that says rules. When I click on the tab, you're going to see the brand new rules engine for cart flows. Inside of our rules engine, we have a concept called rules groups. And this is basically a set of conditions where if any of those conditions are met, the buyer is going to go to that particular step inside of your funnel. So we have a rule group right here. And down here, we have a rules group. We can add additional rule groups, or if none of these conditions are met, the buyer will end up right here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these rules groups. First, you're going to choose what happens or where the buyer ends up if the rules have been met for this rule group. So, for example, in this rule group, if the conditions are met, if these rules are met, the buyer is going to end up on the step that's called upsell one. And you can see these conditions here. Here's a drop down. I can click right here to give you a preview of the conditions that we have set up already. We've got products. So if on the checkout, the buyer is purchasing a specific product, that's what that's going to be for. Or you have the condition here if they are not purchasing that specific product. OK, that's products. We have the same for categories, tags on products, the total. So that would be how much the buyer is spending on that checkout. We also have coupons if they're using a specific coupon or not using a coupon. The shipping method, they chose their shipping country or their billing country. As you can see, you can have multiple conditions inside of a group. And you can see we have a second group as well. And if this condition is met, the buyer is going to end up on upsell page two. And lastly, if none of these conditions are met to send the buyer to group one or group two, the buyer is going to end up right here, which we have set to be the thank you page. Obviously, you can choose any step inside of your funnel. Now, to make this easier to visualize, let's go back to our funnel steps. We're also playing around with the idea of having this navigation option right here. So when I click on it, you can see a full visual representation of how you have this particular flow configured. So you can see we have a landing page which goes to a checkout page and right here is the name of that checkout page. 
And then we have the rule groups. We have rule group one and we have rule group two and you can move these around just like that. So if the conditions of rule group one are met, the buyer's gonna go to upsell one, downsell two, and then end up on upsell two. If the conditions of rule group two are met, they're gonna go straight to the second upsell. And if nothing is met, the buyer's gonna end up right here on the thank you page step. You can zoom in or zoom out as much as you like, and you can move these around in order to get a better visual control over everything that's happening inside of your flow. So that's a quick sneak peek of the upcoming rules engine. We hope to launch this in September. Uh, there is a possibility it could be early October, but we wanna get it into your hands definitely before the holiday season for all of your Black Friday sales so that you can maximize the revenue that you're able to produce inside of your store. I wanna know what you think about this rules engine. And one thing I didn't show you was the same rules that you see here, rules groups, the same concepts are also gonna be inside of the order bump feature inside of cart flows. So that's gonna be there as well. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.